evidently, we've made the internet gods very unhappy today. And probably will be some more here shortly. But that's fine. That's the sacrifices we have to make to play marbles on stream, apparently. It's a whole lot of is what it is. But it's almost done setting up. And then we should be good to go. Keyword there being should. Alternatively, everything can just spontaneously combust even further. But hopefully we can make this work, at least for a little bit this evening. And if we can't, then oh well. It is what it is. But Marvels is almost done installing. Then it should just be a matter of opening it up and clicking some buttons, as we tend to do. Generally, clicking buttons breaks things, but if we click them hard enough, then maybe it'll work. Maybe we won't just crash our internet again for, I believe, the third or fourth time today. But, you know, alternatively, I could just blame it on, uh, blame it on, on Spectrum. It's definitely not my own fault for trying to download a game while having another game open while Twitch streaming. It's definitely my ISP's fault. Trust me. Hundred percent. I've never done anything wrong in my life. You have no proof of it. And uh it's all it's all heresy. Icy otter is infallible. But we're at ninety five percent. We're almost there, chat. We're almost ready to play the funny marble game, provided that I don't break anything in the setup process. Because I've never done this before. But that, that's how I warned y'all when I went live. We're winging things today. If it works, great. If it doesn't, we'll just cry about it and make something else happen. <laughs> Alright, we have the funny marble game installed. Next order of business. Opening the funny Marvel game. <laughs> Man. Oh, that's loud. You're loud. Don't be loud. I don't like it when you're loud. Ah. Um, sure, I agree to the TOS. I read it. I swear I read it. Um, Twitch. Uh, link, link, link account, please. Twitch, Twitch. Well, can we not have this music, by the way? I don't, I don't, hold on. I just want to turn the music off. Let me turn the music off and then I'll be happy. Music. No. Alright, crisis averted. That's that. Now, I just have to figure out how to open... Yeah, okay. So, authorized to connect to my Twitch account. Alright, okay, uh-huh. Account link successful, I like that. Alright. I think we got it working. Next order of business is generic stream. I see is there, the chat is there, the notification box is there, the game capture. Change that to marbles on stream. And hopefully everything will be good to go. Um maybe. 
I hope so. But, well, let's let's not have the stream open when I click on potentially compromising activation or information. No. All right. Okay. And that should be fine. I just I just want to figure out how to set it up so that people can join. Um. Um. I swear I know what I'm doing. I promise. I promise I know what I'm doing here, chat. Uh, streamer. That's me. I'm the streamer. Um. All right, hold on. Let's go back to the game. I think if I just pull up a random race, like there, sure. Um, viewer race, sure. Will it prompt you to join the race? I have no idea. I literally just downloaded this game, but we'll find out. Um, hmm. All right, so you should be able to type exclamation point in the chat, exclamation point play to join. Maybe I don't know. Are we at Martinsville? Is that is that what's going on here? It certainly looks like it. Oh well, there's you two idiots. Congratulations, chat. We figured out how to play marbles on stream. Hallelujah. Question is, can I figure out how to control the camera, or is it just stuck here? Um, can I, can I, can I put my own marble in? I, I want, I want to play. Can I, can I, can, okay, there we go. Well, there's only two people that are actually viewing the stream. So I think we have everyone here. So we're, we're, I'm going to click start. We're going to see what happens. Um, I'm <laughs> we're going to see if I can't figure out how this works. Uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to move the camera. I know there should be a way to do it, but I certainly don't know how to. Oh, okay, it's just locked until it starts. Okay. Well, um, I'm leading the race because I'm a cheater, streamer advantage. This really is just Martinsville if they added way too much banking to Martinsville. When do we get this track in iRacing? I can get behind this. I, I, I can get behind Martinsville with Bristol banking, and I think that I think that would be pretty solid. Pretty solid of a racetrack. Uh-oh. I'm just going to completely fuck up the corner, and, and Halo is going to be the race leader now as we complete lap number one. Oh, nope, I'm back up in the front because I'm cheat. I'm a gosh darn cheater here. And and now our friend Mr. Streets is up here in the front. I, I can't commentate this like it's an iRacing race. I can't take it seriously. <laughs> Like, I could have added chat redeems for, like, so many different things. So af after the stream, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the whole affiliate process and give Twitch my social security number and all of that. And uh, set up channel points. Because I, I want to have point redeems. I want to have betting or predictions and all of that. Because that, that's cool. Also, I'm coming in last. The streamer's coming in last. This isn't allowed. I'm supposed to win all of these races, but no. It's just head-to-head -head between between streets and arcade zone. And the streets has the advantage coming out of four. Will he be able to hold on to it? Sources say yes. Congratulations, Mr. Streets. You're going to win the first marble race ever on the, uh, the, the Icy Otter Twitch channel. <laughs> Congratulations. So next order of business. Race menu. Let me let me let me let me pick a different track, please. Oh, I think the game's crashing. Oh, there we go. Alright. So I've never done this before. I'm gonna do it the way my friend Floofy Ava does it. And I'm just going to let Whoever wins the race, pick the next track. So, Mr. Streets, 
look at this list of, of funny names and give me a number when everyone jumps out at you. And we'll just go go with whatever you find interesting. <laughs> Or there are a lot of tracks here. I'm not even sure how to fix them. 12. All right, I, I can do that. Let's go to track number 12, Devil's Chaos. Average time, 3 minutes, 36 seconds. Your race. Let, let's do it. Let's see what we can make happen. And then I will also... Oh boy, Streets, what did you get us into here? And while everyone gets themselves in here, I'm actually going to run to the restroom super duper quickly. Because we have been uh, streaming for three hours, three and a half hours now. And I gotta pee really bad. So I'll be back in just a second. Uh, exclamation point play to join if you haven't yet. I don't think we're on a timer here. So I will be back in just a moment. All right, I'm back. Those definitely are marbles on stream. I take it no one else is going to join, so let's go ahead and start this one on Devil's Chaos. What did you get us into, Mr. Streets? I'm terrified. Horrified, even. But we do have four competitors this time around as we go down a... a oh boy, this is dark. I can barely see what's going on, but... Arcade zone off to a very early lead here. I see Otter. That's me following just behind. Never mind. We're all going to eat shit. Except for our friend Arcade Zone who's leading the way. And oh no, it's stuck now here too. But it's still leading the way. Streets and I are still struggling at the first obstacle. We're not really good at this whole racing thing, despite the fact that we are the two people here that play iRacing. It's gonna be arcade zone. Going off to a very early lead, going down the netherrack hole as it is, and leading the race by a concerningly substantial margin here. What is going on here? I don't even know. I don't think I want to know. Arcade Zone nearly got launched off the map. It's going to lead the way even further beyond anything I'm way back there in last. I'm doing terrible this time around. Arcade Zone lead... Oh, well, Streets just got sent off the map. Streets has died officially. <laughs> it looks like there's a bit of a, a fork in the path. Oh, it's a trident going into whatever's going on over there in Arcade Zone. Still leading the way by a very substantial margin. It's going to get launched over into whatever this is. And might be stuck there for just a moment. Zeb's catching on up. I'm still, I haven't even made it into the Trident yet. I am way far behind here. As Arcade Zone continues to cheat its way up to the front. We're only a minute 54 into this race. I'm pretty sure it said, oh, there's the finish way down there. The average lap time here is in like the three minute mark. And oh boy, I can see why. Oh lord. <laughs> Well, uh-oh, I don't know if that was a shortcut or, or what, but, but Zeb is technically being scored as our race leader right now. I, I, I don't know if that's allowed in the rules here in, in Otter Car and Marbles, but Zeb is going to lead the way by 
a very considerable margin now as Arcade Zone still stuck in that incredibly long spiral up there. And coming down through the final obstacle, it's just a matter of Zeb not getting caught in this here spinny doicky, and that'll be good to go to take home the win of this race. Arcade Zone and Icy both still way far behind, and sure enough, Zeb is going to take home the win in the second ever inaugural whatever we want to call this. I, we can't call it Icy Car, we can't call it Otter Car. Both of these are already copyrighted names here. But now a minute 15 left until everyone else gets disqualified. Will Arcade Zone actually make it to the end? I don't know if we can legally call it Otter Ball. That, that, that is a little bit of a stretch. But Arcade Zone's going to finish back in position number two. The only remaining question then is, will Icy, also known as me, be able to finish the race or not? 46 seconds left, just got to get through this honeycomb, and we should be good. Sure enough, I will be able to actually finish the race. Hallelujah. And that will leave Garrett Streets coming at home last year this evening after all is said and done. Zeb takes home the win with almost a 33-second lead. So before we, we actually um, go to our next race, I would like to... We, we can turn the music back on, I think. If it's just quiet, I think that'll be fine. As long as it's just not too obnoxiously loud, we should be good. That's fine. Alright, well, see you around. Thanks for tuning in. Congratulations on the win. In that case, I think we are legally obligated to just hit the random track button since our winner is retiring from this evening's events. Let's see where RNG gets us. We are here in Castle Siege. Sounds like a race that uh, might involve a little bit of death. But as usual, exclamation point play to join on into the match. And we got, we got five people tuned in the race, though, so I will give everyone just a second to get in if they want to. It's just exclamation point play to come on in. Got us three dinguses here so far. And I'll give an extra minute or so for everyone else to come on in. And then we will get started on Castle Siege. Looks like... The record time here is a 149.099, so not the longest track ever, not the shortest one either. That said, I'm going to give about like 10 seconds and I'll go ahead and get this one started. It's exclamation point play if you want to join in. And then I guess that'll be that. And also I turned the music on, it's not playing music, so... That's what I get for complaining, I guess. But let's go ahead and get this show on the road here. Three marbles enter. Hopefully all three make it out alive. But you know what? I'm not in charge if they don't. Streets off to an early lead here this time. By heading on down into our little glass tubes here. I see an arcade zone neck to neck just behind. They are throwing explosives at us. I don't think that's legal. They don't allow that in... Uh-oh. Well, Streets just got himself stuck up here. Well, that Streets race over with. Uh, that might be a blown motor on that number 15 machine. And Arcade Zone also is looking like it's stuck here as well. I guess it's just up to Icy here to not eat a rock to the face and It'll be good to go to take home the win. And thank you for the follow, Tommy. Welcome on into the Marbles stream. Uh, never actually done this before. This is our 
third ever match of marbles. Uh, I literally I downloaded the game while I was streaming, like probably fifteen minutes ago, and now we're here. Looks like I'm still gonna be holding on to the lead as the gosh darn cheating streamer streamer advantage here. Streets has been sent off the map once again. Streets has perished. Very unfortunate luck for Mr. Streets 15 here, Arcade Zone. Trying to catch up, but it's got a long way. Uh oh, I'm going backwards. That's why I get for talking smack. Arcade Zone is our new race leader. Just like that. The tables have turned in this here castle siege. Record time is a minute 49.99, which evidently we are not going to hit considering there is still plenty of track left to go. Arcade Zone is now going to be finding itself stuck in some rubble here. And how is Icy doing all the way? Icy has gone even further back. He is going in the wrong direction here. That marble is going backwards. I think things are good for Arcade Zone. As long as it doesn't get sent off the track. There is a substantial amount of rubble in the way here, though. That's going to make this pretty difficult for both of these marbles. But I believe, you know, the little marble that could will get there eventually. Let's see. Let's just take a look. How much track is there actually left here to sort through? All right, just just got to get to here. Uh, it is possible. Arcade Zone has built up a considerable lead and is now also going backwards itself. Well, <laughs> this is a, this is a problem. This is what we get for uh, clicking on random map is we're now going backwards. Ah. Uh... Well, let's actually, let, I'm going to move this to my other monitor real quick so that I can actually see things better. Because part of my issue right now is that it's on the screen that has really terrible color depth. But now that I have it on the correct monitor, I can actually see what's happening here. Both marbles are currently stuck going backwards right now. And there we go. Turn the names back on. Well, if both drivers are stuck going backwards, I'm not quite sure there's a lot we can do to get this show going in the right direction. Unless a rocky, a lucky rock comes down and rights the wrongs of this track. I think that might be that. Icy's now sort of making his way back in the right direction, but there's still rubble in the way that's making that a little bit difficult. But it's still, it's still possible. It is still possible for someone to win here. That said, if we if we don't get a winner in the next minute or two, I might have to call it early because this is just getting a little bit silly. But at least Icy is pointed in the right direction now. That's half the battle. Not exactly taking an efficient route to get to the front, but it is a route nonetheless. How are things going over here with Arcade Zone? Oh. Icy has actually made the pass for the lead as Arcade Zone has been sent even further back into the into the great beyond. Almost at the five minute mark now. These marbles, they're trying their best here. For what it's worth. They are trying. But uh I I don't I don't think it's going very well. If we, if we get to like the seven minute mark we, we okay okay we're both going backwards now oh nope going back in the right direction again maybe possibly there's so much more track to get through though this is this is painful come on i don't even care if i lose i just i just want to declare a winner here i believe I don't know how someone managed to pull off a minute 49 lap time here. Oh, and Arcade Zones just died, so that makes it 51 seconds for Icy to get to the finish. Or else I think 
I don't know if it'll automatically declare him the winner or if it will just end the game. But one way or another, we can just go ahead and let that timer run out and bring an end to this incredibly stressful battle here at the Castle Siege. Alright, it'll just end it. That's fine by me. Yep, and that'll do it. Nobody wins. We all DNF. So I'm just going to random it again. Since we have no winner, we'll, we'll just random it up, see what happens. Hopefully we don't get sent to the Shadow Realm. And we're on thin ice. All right. Exclamation point play in the chat if you want to join on in here. And it looks like we might be in the danger zone here just a little bit. I'll give it another minute or so for everyone to get on in here. Back to mission play if you want to join, of course. Record time here is a minute 33.6. So, you know what you gotta do here, gang. But that said, I'll go ahead and start the countdown. 10 seconds if you want to get in. Exclamation point play to join. We will get this show on the road here. Everyone falling on down. I'm not quite sure where you need to go to get down here, but Icy Otter off to a very early lead. I see no bias or advantage here with the name Icy at a track like this. And of course, now Icy is stuck. Now everyone else is catching on up. Arcade Zone is going to be passing him for the lead. Streets is stuck further back there, but he, he's starting to catch up just a little bit. Arcade Zone is our race leader, though, and now it finds itself stuck in the same situation that I was just moments ago. And like that, I'm back into the lead of this thing. Because once again, I am just the cheatiest streamer ever. I am influencing the marbles to make mine perform better as everyone heads on down the ice slides going into another one of these lovely little comb sections and we have some sound effects going this is this is intense I, mean, I guess the other tracks I think one of them had sound effects but now the real question is, what's going on here? I think the goal is to get through those holes in the middle. We could see some of these marbles getting stuck in there for a little while now, unless... Nope, never mind, Icy just already made it through. Alright, never mind. The streamer is cheating once again, as it tends to go. Arcade Zone still caught in the vortex here. Trying to get out of there. And it's... Nope, not that time. It's possible. Just gotta believe. There we go. Arcade Zone makes it through. Arcade Zone takes a shortcut up to the front. And never mind. That's not solid ground, apparently. That is going to be Arcade Zone eliminated from the race. That just leaves me and Streets. Streets stuck a little while back there. Just a matter of getting into the hole. That will be that for our, I want to say this is the fourth race of the evening. And just like that, that leaves a minute 36 left for Garrett Streets to make it to the end. And I mean, it looks like he's going to be able to. Doesn't look like there's much trouble here he has to worry about. Just thinking about it. A lot of contemplation going on here. There we go. Down into the end, and I win because I'm the cheater. So what what's the deal with the music? Did we just make it? Oh, maybe we just made it too quiet. Let, let's try thirty percent this time. Let's see what happens. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I guess the game just freezes whenever you load up the tracks again. So, uh, 
I guess I gotta pick something now. Um, let's see here. Uh, we we can go to Pixels Raceway. Uh, impress me here, Pixel. We'll see what happens. All right, as usual, exclamation point play if you want to join on in. And it's still looking like it might be just the three of us here, but I'll give it just a second in case any more folks tune on in. Why do I have seven notifications on Discord? What did I do? All right, crisis averted. I did not break anything important. Is, is that how the song goes? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't. I don't. I think. I think it's the number less than three of us. I said, of course, exclamation point play if you want to join on in. And I guess we can go ahead and. Get this one underway. Yeah, just yeah, that's how it's going. It's just the one of us. But going to get things going here on Pixels Raceway. And oh well, quite the interesting track layout and streets off to a very early lead. I don't know if it is legal to do that, but it's not anything we can do about it now. These Marvel races don't have race control. I see still stuck up in the beginning area as Arcade Zone starts to catch up to streets just a little bit. Marvel is coming into some tire barriers just like they would in an actual racing series. And, well, I don't know if they put speed bumps on the racetracks, unless they're at Myrtle Beach, but... Otherwise, oh, look at that. Icy Otter somehow has gotten back up into this. Must be those charming streamer hacks at it again. As we head on down into another set of speed bumps and another speed boost. And will it be more tire barriers? Looks like that is going to be the case. Might allow Icy to catch up just a little bit here. But it is neck and neck between Streets and Arcade Zone. Streets... Having the thought to maybe go around the tire barriers, what or around the speed bumps, what a novel concept. That's going to get Emma into a little bit of a lead here. But just like that, Arcade Zone is going to close the distance once again. Looks like we are in the final stretch of this race, though. It's all going to come down into managing this final tire barrier section. Streets and icy neck and neck. Arcade Zone not too far behind. It is catching up here. Streets is up in the front. Arcade Zone going to shoot straight through the tire barriers and steal the win out from our noses. Arcade Zone going to take home the win for race number five. Congratulations. You somehow, you, you hit the skill shot here. You made it work. And you will be our winner. So let's go ahead on head back to the track menu. And I'll let it scroll. Just give me a number for whatever one jumps out at you, and we'll make it happen here. And, uh, well, whatever happened, happens. So it should show, I believe, 70 for you to pick from. And of course, if you, if you need me to scroll back up, I can. Particular one, huh? Well, you 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 know what you want more than I do. I'm just the the person that clicks things. I'll have you know, I'm very good at clicking. 
71 marble canyon alrighty let's see um record times a minute 08.671 We'll see how it goes. Hopefully nothing will catch fire too hard here in the Marble Canyon. And that, that sure is a canyon made out of marbles. Of course, as usual, exclamation point play if you want to join on in here. Of course, no pressure for those of you lurking out in the chat. Totally understand that, but it's up to you. I'll go ahead and start it here in just a moment. It's going to be another three marble race here at the Marble Canyon. And this looks like it is going to be a lapped event. So we'll just have to see who manages to make all three of these laps really click together. Everyone rolls on down into turn one without too much difficulty. Arcade zone off to an early lead. Streets trying to trying to get the style bonus, but unfortunately we don't quite award bonus points for hitting the highest jump. But that actually is going to put him up in the front of this race somehow or another. Arcade zone not all that far behind though, and Icy having a little, little bit of a struggle here. But Arcade Zone and Streets are making things happen here this evening as they head around the bend. Streets almost going up and over the hill. That could have been bad. Well, it could have been bad or it could have been genius. Not quite sure, but I'm I'm leaning towards it probably being bad here. Streets gonna take home. Lap number one, though, Icy Otter falling way behind. It is just a battle between streets and arcade zone around this. Can you really call this a speedway? It's not, it's not paved. It's not quite, a, not quite a racetrack. I don't know if we can get away with that one, but streets is in the lead regardless. Arcade zone has to close that gap somehow or another. But it, it's not really narrowing at all. Oh, now, well, now it is. Arcade Zone closed that gap just a little bit, but Streets gets a perfect landing out of that banking. And he's going to pull ahead just a little bit more as we get onto the white flag. Last lap around this track. And Icy Otter is way far behind. He has no chance of making it up here unless something catastrophic happens to our two race leaders. Streets still leading the way pretty much by the same gap he's been leading for the past lap and a half. Arcade Zone's going to need something really big to happen here to catch back up to that leading marble, especially as we draw closer to the final corner. And Streets again getting a really good exit out of there. And Streets going to take home the win here once again. Aid zone just behind, and then Icy. Oh, poor Icy is way far back there. But at least no DNFs for any of these drivers. So, Streets, once again, it's up to you to uh, decide our next track. The choice is yours. Uh, try not to break anything. Seventeen. All right. Cosmic chaos. Uh, record time: a minute fifty-nine four two seven. All righty. Wow, that sure is Nazareth Speedway and Martinsville Speedway. Well, not quite Rainbow Road, but. I'm sure we're bound to make something happen here. As usual, exclamation point play if you want to join on in. And it does look like we have all three 
entries in the chat here, so we'll go ahead and get this thing started. Let's see what happens here in Cosmic Chaos. It better have Cosmic, it better have Chaos, or else I want a refund. And oh boy, that does look like it has a sufficient amount of Chaos. I see off to an early lead as they head down into the pipe. Arcade Zone going to cross over just ahead. Who will it be going in first? It's at, well, all right, Arcade Zone's going to get the bump down there from Icy. Maybe a little bit of teamwork going on here against our previous race winner. As we head on into some spirally bits. That's a professional racing term, by the way. As you know, mo most racing circuits do contain spirally bits. It's just they don't always make it super apparent. Arcade Zone still holding on to the lead streets and Icy. Both a bit far behind here. Streets in the middle, Icy rounding out the tail end of the field, and there is machinery in the way. Streets got stuck on something, though. Arcade Zone off to a very big lead now. Streets is stuck inside of the machine somehow or another. That's going to make him pretty much lose any chance of winning this race that he had. And now that's Icy and Arcade Zone neck and neck. Icy actually going to take the lead here. By just a little bit. Streets Streets has at least made it out of the big spinning device of death, so he might have a chance to get back into it if, the, if both these drivers run into some trouble, which is exactly what Icy is doing. He just lost a critical amount of time there. That said, looks like we're just about at the finish of this thing. Just has to get through these couple of speed bumps, and he should be good. Arcade Zone is closing the gap, though. It's still anybody's race here, because I think Arcade Zone actually has a little bit more momentum here. Between these three marbles. But Ice is going to be the first one to clear it. A couple more pegs to have to go through. And Icy is going to take home the win. Arcade Zone following in second, just behind streets making his way to the end as well no dnfs this time around well, that definitely was a very difficult final section for these marbles and as such with me taking home the win once again we're just gonna hit random track and see what happens we're gonna we're gonna do our best hopefully nothing catches fire and everything will be good and now we find ourselves here to love is in the air as usual exclamation point play if you want to join into the race and it looks like we have a whole lot of pink on our hands here today we'll go ahead and get this thing started poll time is going to be 157 429 let's see if we can't set ourselves a new record here today Got to get through the pegboard section first. And it looks like Streets is going to have the advantage getting through it. As he heads down into the very pink tunnel covered in hearts. Icy once again finding himself at the tail end of the field. Arcade zone comfortably in the middle. Gaining on Streets. Actually looks like Arcade zone has a little bit of a speed advantage going into the next section of the track. Whatever's going on here, don't quite know. But Arcade Zone catching back up just a bit. No, it's going to get stuck there, and that's going to allow Icy to close the gap a little bit. Street's going to pull ahead a little bit more. It's Icy and Arcade Zone are still continuing to get stuck back in that previous section of track. Street's starting to pull away here. As he gets into the next comb area. But he gets stuck. That's going to allow Arcade Zone to catch back up. Will Arcade Zone be able to navigate this better than Streets did? And somehow Icy's in the lead now. Just like that. 
it is anyone's race here as we get into what looks like it's going to be the final couple of segments here. Icy and Streets neck and neck, Halo trailing just behind as they head down into the heart tunnels. Jump across the gap. Hopefully everyone makes it. And it looks like Arcade Zone's going to miss the jump. That's Arcade Zone eliminated from the race just like that. Two more marbles remaining. Icy up in the front. Streets getting stuck in the pegboard section. Icy might just be able to take home the win as long as he doesn't get caught on anything. Which is, of course, a very big if here. But right now, looking like he is in the clear as Streets still struggling to get past that final part. And uh oh, Icy's actually going to miss the hole into the next segment of track here. And that's going to allow Streets to catch back up. Streets is now our race leader. As we head into the final segment of track, neck and neck between the two marbles. It's just a matter of who nails the exit here, and it looks like it's going to be Streets. Oh no, they both hit pegs! They both hit pegs again! And I see is somehow going to take home the win, probably by a couple thousandths, if not ten thousandths of a second. Sure enough, a 237.897 versus a 37.963. That was by far the closest finish we've had so far in this session. And once again, we got to roll the dice and just pick a random track. We'll see what happens here. And we find ourselves on Twisted Toothpick, which is being hosted on a very fascinating PNG of a farm. As usual, exclamation point play if you want to join into the race. And uh quite the scenery we have find our find we have found ourselves in here today. I know how to speak chat. I swear I do broadcasting to make money. <laughs> I promise you. I, I know what I'm doing. That said. Gonna go ahead and get this thing started. 10 seconds, exclamation point pay if you want to join on in. Alright, pick 19 if you win. You got it. Once again, finding ourselves starting off in one of the pegboard sections in Arcade Zone off to an early lead, but Streets is going to catch back up just like that. Streets leading the way out of the pegboard, but it's still neck and neck for all of these marbles. Everyone still has a chance here. Arcade Zone going to go down the left. Icy and Streets going through the right. And Arcade Zone and Icy are tied for second. Arcade Zone is going to jump up to the front just like that, though. And not going to hold on to it long as Icy once again takes home the lead here, heading into the next section of track. Looping around each other. Icy still in the front of it, but I don't know what's going on here, but it looks a little bit dangerous. It looks a little bit like we could lose some marbles off the racing surface, depending on how this next segment plays out here. Arcade Zone is going to be the first one to drop, but Icy again. Oh, nope. Both drivers are going to bang into each other here. Icy's going to fall off the map. That's going to be his first death of the racing season. And that's going to leave Arcade Zone as our race leader. Street stuck very far behind. As long as Arcade Zone doesn't get knocked off the map, it looks like it might have this here. Sure enough, in the final segment, Streets is still completely stuck back at about the halfway point of the track. Not quite a new record, but Arcade Zone is going to take on the win. Let's take a look back here, see how things are going for Streets. Heading down into these last couple of segments. And just like that, Streets is going to bring it home here this evening. No DNF for that 15. But Arcade Zone is going to be the winner here. 
Arcade Zone did say that if it wouldn't pick 19, so it looks like that is exactly what we are going to be doing. So let's see here. 19, that is going to be Marvel Centauri with a record time of 3 minutes 29 seconds. As usual, exclamation point play if you want to join into this race here on Marvel Centauri. Quite the track name here this evening. And we'll give Arcade Zone just a moment to get in there since it said it was doing some stuff. In the meantime, uh, apparently I have been streaming for four hours now. This has been one of the longer streams I've done lately. Which is not saying much, considering all I've done as of late is broadcasts. I haven't really done any personal streams like this in a pretty long while. But that said, looks like no word from Arcade Zone. So we're going to go ahead and get this one started. Just going to be a duel between myself and the Streets 15. Let's get this show on the road here at Marble Centauri. Once again, finding ourselves starting off at another one of these pegboards. Streets going to get launched up in the air. That's going to allow Icy to drop down to the bottom without much difficulty. But sure enough, Streets is going to get the advantage here. Heading around the moon. Or actually, that's not the moon. That's uh, it's Mercury. <laughs> Took me a minute to realize that there, there was the whole solar system here. And that's not just just a rock. <laughs> I know my astronomy, I swear. Streets off to an early lead. Icy is still close behind, but not by that much. Does look like we have quite the long track ahead of us here. We'll just have to see how it ends up playing out. A long race for these two marbles to duel it out. Streets. Still holding on to the front of this thing, but it looks like we got another two and a half minutes to go through where really anything could happen here between these two marbles. Heading through a bit of a hexagonal section here, and looks like we have ourselves set up for a very long drop immediately after. Is the drop covered? No, it is not. We could see marbles getting de- DNFs are right here. Streets heading down safely. Looks like Icy is heading down pretty safely as well. So not much worries there. Then going to be heading back into an uphill section. It does look like both these marbles have the energy necessary to get up here, which is good. That is quite the steep climb. And a little bit of a jump. Streets is going to land it. Icy is as well. As we head into the next segment of racetrack, Streets has pulled away from Icy, though. He has a very comfortable lead now. Heading down into the next section track, and Icy is going to fall off the track. Now it's just a matter of if Streets can make it to the end. He has no more competition. He just has to get to the finish line. Two and a half minutes into this race, so should be about a minute left to go. Will he be able to do it is the question. So far, looks like a decently comfortable amount of, of track to work with here. Doesn't look like a lot of opportunities left to really fall off of it. Question is, will Streets be able to get through this final segment and potentially set down a new record lap time? 
that could be some very exciting news if he is able to do it, but oh, he is going to miss that peg. Is he going to miss this one as well? Not quite. Streets is going to get knocked off the map. That's what I get for saying Streets might be able to set a new record time here. Quite a tragic finish to what was a very solid race. I did. I know I did say that normally we just random track since there was no winner. But Streets, I'm going I'm to let you be the honorary winner here. I'll let you pick a track for us. Whenever it decides to load the track map. There we go. Thirty-five, Portal Purgatory. Oh boy. I feel like I should be concerned. I feel like we're gonna be stuck in a in a dangerous situation here. But you know what? We're going for it. We're committed to the bit. Whatever happens, this is your own fault. As usual, exclamation point play if you want to join on into the race. And it looks like the fastest lap time is actually 30 seconds. So we will see how this one ends up playing out. So with a name like Portal Purgatory, that makes me worry that there's going to be lots of opportunity to get sent back to the start. So we'll have to see how that ends up working out. But how about we go ahead and get this thing going. I don't think we're really going to have anyone else tune on in here, so I'll go ahead and start this one off, and we'll see how things end up playing out. And just like that, heading down into another pegboard section. This one extra spiky here today. It looks like Streets is going to have the early advantage going down into it, but Icy is right there too. He is able to cut catch up this background feels weirdly familiar but i don't know where it's from but regardless streets is going to be taking the first portal where is that going to take him that's going to take him into portal purgatory oh dear streets has found himself in a very difficult situation but no he's going to land back on the track up in front of icy so not quite as portal purgatory as we once thought that said there's another portal down there i wonder if that's going to make these marbles cycle through all of those portals once again streets is going to be the first one to get there icy just behind where did that take on yep they're both back in portal purgatory here once again and icy is back on the track streets still being teleported around here i think it might just be a matter of luck on which marble ends up finding itself in the finish line here. Icy's still trying to get into the portal again, and he's going to pull it off. And Streets, oh, he had a whole lot of momentum there, but he's going to find himself back in the portals yet again. Icy's going to find himself back on the track, and Streets, no, Streets died. Streets did not make it into the hole. So that leaves just Icy. Will Icy be able to make it through the portal purgatory and take home the win, or will we see another double DNF? I think both are very much options here. It's just a matter of how RNG plays out. Getting kind of stuck in a bit of a loop here. It certainly looks like we're not beating that 30 second record though. That much is for certain. And he's going to get sent back to the beginning. <laughs> oh no. And we're stuck here again. Almost got it, but not quite. I think it's just a matter of building up enough momentum here to make it really happen. Nope. Nope. That's going to be a double DNF for both of the marbles. 
I said it is getting a little bit late here, so how about we do perhaps one more here before we call it for the evening? Go ahead and hit a random just for good luck. And I don't know. I mean, it looks familiar, but it doesn't look like Halo or Portal, so I'm not, I'm not sure. And here we are on Lapsland. Looks like another one similar to the Marble Canyon. Of course, exclamation point play if you want to join on in. We got Arcade Zone in here, this one as well. Let's see how this one ends up playing out. We'll go ahead and get things started here. For our final race of the evening, going to be three laps as is usual. And arcade Zone's starting a little bit further back from the rest of the field, which is a little weird, but looks like we're just racing around in Octagon here this evening. With some bumps up in between Arcade Zone off to the early lead. Arcade Zone, what'd you miss? You missed, I believe, three back-to-back -back complete field DNFs in our previous couple of tracks. So, uh, not a whole lot. But I see an arcade zone neck and neck once again, heading through about halfway point of the track. I guess you could sort of call that the backstretch, maybe? As both marbles come to complete lap number two, Streets is here as well, and Streets is actually closing the gap between these marbles. And oh, Icy hits a tree. That's going to cause him to fall back as Arcade Zone and Streets now lead the way through lap number two. And Streets going to take the lead just like that as some marbles hitting some bumps here. Yep, Streets starting to pull away. Icy is far behind. Arcade Zone kind of stuck in the middle here. But getting ready to cross the line for lap number two. Streets will be scored as our race leader this time by a white flag up in the air. For the final time here this evening for our marble racers, Icy is pitifully, pitifully far behind here. But Arcade Zone trying its best to catch up to Streets. It could potentially make this happen as long as Streets has a little bit of a mistake. Arcade Zone could very much get back into this. But rounding through the final couple of turns here, about down the backstretch now. Street still holding on to the lead arcade zone, just a little bit behind. Nice, he's even further back there. And sure enough, coming through the final corner, Streets is going to take home the win of the final race of the evening. Arcade zone going to follow in just behind, and then Icy is going to be coming home shotgun to the field once again. And that will make Streets our winner here this evening yeah we did do your pick and that one also resulted in a double dnf and then so did the one subsequently after that so that will result with streets taking home i guess three wins then arcade zone two and then me three i don't know how the scoring system works here but good race, everyone. I'm glad we managed to figure out how marbles all works. And this is definitely something that I will be playing more in the future. And of course, thanks everyone for tuning in for the past four hours of me trying to set up iRacing graphics. That was a whole headache. But it's been fun. So thank you all for tuning in, and I will see y'all next time.